What is going on everyone? It's the Halloween season, so I figured I would go over or talk about some of my favorite horror films and uh, or some of the horror films or films I watched during the that month of October or during the Halloween time, days leading up to Halloween. So I thought it'd just some fun just for the heck of it. Um one of this film is a film I always watch every every uh October, or at least when he gets around Halloween, uh, Murder Party. Now, this was Jeremy Saunier's first film, and then he he went on to uh, do bigger films, bigger budget films, such as Green Green the Green uh, Green Room, and then Blue Ruins. Uh, I know I saw Green Room at the theater. That was a pretty good one uh, with um, um, with Anton uh, Yelchin, the kid that sadly passed away uh, unexpectedly a few years ago but anyway this this uh, this guy it's uh, this murder party this guy gets an invitation to a party he lives in Los Angeles so he dresses up in this goofy uh, kind of a nerdy guy and he, he he dresses up in this uh, costume this homemade costume he makes up and then he he sets off uh, for this party, not knowing that it's a real murder party, because it said murder party on the invitation, and he's uh, probably assumed it was just called that. But yeah, they really wanted to set someone up, tie them up, and torture them and kill them. And I mean, it's a comedy horror, you know. So, but uh, you know, it's got a lot of comedy in it too. But you know, he's just. Um, it's worth seeing though. It's it, it's pretty funny and I and I like it. It's a it's a good Halloween film since it does take place as, around Halloween. Um, this film, Clown Town, is pretty scary. These uh, young teenagers, uh, I think it's four of them, or young 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 twenties, but they break down in this abandoned town. Or there's not many people there if it isn't abandoned, but. Yeah, these they're chased by these clowns. It's a it's a few of them, and they're pretty scared, pretty intense. You know some of the uh, uh, some of the scenes. You know, but it's I went I do I, I like clown horror films. I went and saw the newest Terrifier in Burlington the other day. It was uh, it was pretty pretty gruesome, but it's you know uh, I mean well done. I, you know there, it's been there's been reports that people got sick actually got sick in the theater and they. Um, some people left, you know, uh, I, I was surprised that it, they were showing it, but yeah, I said, I just happened to see, I didn't, I didn't expect it. And I said, ah, well, you know what, why not? You know, it's, it is October, I mean, 20, well, at the time it was, you know, a few days ago, so it was October 22nd or 21st, but Cabin Fever is always one of my favorites, uh, especially because the, the fact that it was filmed not far from here, it was filmed in the Winston-Salem area. Actually, I knew a couple guys that helped work on the film. They helped with the sound production or whatever. Um, but it's a good cabin. Uh, that, that this disease breaks out, and then the rednecks in the town they get wind of these teenagers are spreading this disease. So, so they got to deal with the, the rednecks of the town that you know want to stop this disease from spreading. If you know what I mean. So. Um, it's uh, Ryder Strong from the member of the sitcom Boy Meets World. He's in it. Uh, there's a few other uh, uh, good actors in it. Um, J uh, Joey Kern, uh, James DeBello. He was pretty good in it. Um, uh, I did the filming locations for this. Uh, I don't know about four or five years ago. So, yeah, it's yeah. It's funny how time flies. But I bet you like to party. Howdy, ma'am. Everything's fine. Just go back inside, have yourself a big 40, just party. Um, okay. This is a good film. Uh, the Witch, Robert, Robert Eggers' film. Um, Robert Eggers has become a really good director, but this... Came out what, about 20, 2017 or so. It's a good, it's kind of a supernatural witchcraft film. Of course, it takes place in the 17th century when witchcraft was really frowned, really frowned upon. So, yeah. So, so it, you know, so they're this. They believe this witch is possessing. You know, like it's inside the goat, and then it's so they're dealing with. 
all this witchcraft and all this supernatural crap going on in the film. It's it's pretty scary, pretty intense film, and and uh, he's done some other good films since The Witch. So yeah, anything Robert Eggers does usually does pretty well. Not everybody likes it, but I actually liked the Ro Rob Zombie's Halloween. I, I thought it was it was pretty good. I didn't care for the second one he did, but the but that it was pretty. It was different. He put his own little spin on it, and that, and that was kind of kind of cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, this is the director's cut. The Evil Bong. <laughs> this is a funny kind of a a good comedy horror film. Tommy Chung is in it. It's about a bong that's. Uh, that's uh, possessed and uh, these four young guys live together in this apartment and they're always you know they're kind of big uh, uh, big potheads and they're always smoking and and um, uh, yeah so whoever smokes out of the bong you know ends up going into the, into the underworld into this I don't know if it's hell or if it's purgatory they go to this weird little uh, afterlife place and there's all these weird characters there Charles Band's films are kind of uh, a lot of puppeteer puppeteering and uh, puppets and uh, you know uh, just uh, a lot of claymation and stuff he always does strange films like that and then in this case a bong but uh, I always I like it especially and it's kind of a cool October film you know why not Fourteen oh eight. I really love this. It's a, it's based on a, a, a Stephen King short uh, uh, short story. Now John Cusack and Samuel Jackson. Now John Cusack, he's a writer who really doesn't believe in the afterlife or doesn't believe in uh, supernatural, and he goes to this really expensive, nice upscale hotel in Miami. And he goes there because it's uh, supposedly this room 1408 is haunted and nobody's ever made it out of there. And Samuel Jackson's kind of the caretaker. He runs the ho the mo hotel and, he, and he's, be he's begging him not to do it. He's like, I can't stop you, but I'm begging you, don't go through it, you know, because nobody's ever, you know, so something always happens. Somebody does have a heart attack or they jump out the window. But, but once he's in the room, like everything's okay, but then things start happening, like the doorknob breaks off and he can't get out and... Just seeing all these crazy ghosts and the people that jumped out, that committed suicide, or jumping out of the uh, out of the uh, window, and it just it just gets crazier and crazier as time goes on. But I, I really like that. It's uh, it's it's got some sad moments too, but it's 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 pretty good. I, I liked it. Um, well worth a shot. Another Rob Zombie. I've had this DVD for since the early 2000s. The House of a Thousand Corpses. Always a fun watch around around the Halloween season, and, and it, you know because it takes place around the Halloween around Halloween time in the film. And uh, you know his first films. It was like it was funny. Like all his films were making making the theater, and now all of a sudden, like he just did a remake of The Monsters, and it didn't make. It, it didn't go, it went straight to DVD, and a lot of people were disappointed that he did it in color, and he didn't do it in, in uh, black and white. I can understand that. I never cared for, I mean, I, I, Monsters wasn't my thing, you know. Um, yeah, you know, I, I just, something I didn't get into. But, nor, nor did I like the Adams Family. It's just, I just, 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 some things you just don't get into, you know. Um, but, nevertheless, this was a lot of fun. It was a fun ride, and got some, yeah, crazy, uh, a lot of crazy crap in it. I uh, I love most all the Texas Chainsaw Masters, but my favorite is the second one. I know the first one is a cult classic, but the second one with Dennis Hopper is 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 great. And then you got Bill Bill Mosley was Chop Top in it, and who also is in House of a Thousand Corpses as Otis. He's a great horror. He's in a lot of horror films. I don't know. He's always seems to be in. Uh, he's been in some dramas too, but mostly he seems to be a horror film icon. Uh, you know, just seems seems to gravitate towards horror films for whatever reason. But nevertheless, uh, this is this is good. This is really one of my favorites, and worth seeing if you have, uh, if you haven't. 
Speaking of, of uh, Texas Chainsaw, I know, Texas, speaking of Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, I know it did not get good reviews, but I absolutely liked. This scared the hell out of me. The Next Generation with Matthew McConaughey and Renee, Renee Zellweger. Um, it uh, actually Matthew McConaughey was he's in the Psycho family in this, the Slaughter family. It was a different name in it, but um, he did not want this to go through. He thought it was going to ruin his career, and I guess he had second he had some uh, trepidations about it coming out, and then he tried to have it scrapped, and it was a little too late. You know, they had already done it, and and uh, I don't know why uh, he he did a good job. I mean, he played an absolute psycho in it, but. Um, so, nevertheless, uh, it has some scary scenes in it, especially when the Ch Texas Chainsaw, uh, uh, when Leatherface is chasing Renee Zellweger through the, through the yard or the field or the woods, uh, it, the lighting wasn't so good on, maybe that's what people had some problems with, but, uh, the, the scenes, though, I don't know. They, they Just at the time in the 90s, I think this came out in 96, it scared the hell out of me, 95 or 96. But uh, in this uh, in this particular one, Leatherface is a cross-dressing. He's the, he's a cross-dresser, Leatherface. So, yeah, this would really go, uh, would really appeal to crowds today, wouldn't it? <laughs> but nevertheless, still, it, still worth a shot. I... I I wouldn't put this at, a lot of people put this at the bottom of all the, the whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre series, but uh, uh, um, I wouldn't do that. I, I'm a, maybe, I don't know, maybe fourth or fifth, you know. But nevertheless, I appreciate y'all joining me, and I hope y'all have a fun Halloween night and I will see you soon.